you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I run the world, I run the mile The way you look at me I think I'm going insane Alright you guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is the second to last of a, a series of videos that I've done recently. You, you'll probably have known, you, you, you may have been here for some of them. There's been 98 of them. Today we're in the second to last. His name is Jim Brown. He's number two on the NFL's top 100 greatest players of all time. Jim Brown is an amazing player. He was an amazing player. He left at the height of his career. He left after nine years in the league, completely dominating it, and left when his body was still intact, his mind was still intact, and we may even hear a little bit about a little bit about that. Uh, you know, he's the greatest running back of all time. He's the second greatest player of all time behind Jerry Rice, apparently. And uh, there's nothing left to do but but to get into it. So I'm going to roll the intro, and I'll see you back here soon. The quicker you here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is. Okay, Jim Brown. Jim Brown. You know, Jim Brown is, is a name I'll never forget. I'll never forget him. He was probably, you know, within the first 10 reactions I ever did. Uh, running back, of course. Once I started saying I liked running backs, people started, you know, recommending me running backs. Jim Brown, Walter Payton. Who else was there? Anyway, it doesn't matter because this is the, this is the GOAT. This is the GOAT of all running backs. And in my opinion, probably the goat of the of, of the entire league to be honest because a running back is more is better than a, a wide receiver in my opinion <laughs> okay it's just my opinion don't hate me for it you know but uh anyways guys jim brown let's get into it number two this is a, a picture of jim brown and i treasure that very much but i trip the words even more bert a friend of over 25 years you have remained a man, and a man of his word. And that's rare. Your friend, wherever you are, Jim. Just listen to the background music, man. It's, it's epic. I actually noticed this in the last video. The background music is always like loud for whatever reason especially in this intro clip but in the last couple it's been really soft and faint like using pianos and things like that and it just adds to the video and and how it makes you feel listen to it listen to it guys you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying Jim Brown. Jim thought on Sundays, uh, and these are his words, that he was a god. That nobody could hurt him, nobody could touch him, nobody was better. And uh, he proved it every Sunday. No Whoa! Did you see that? See that dummy pass onto the inside? Whoa! Let's have a look at that. And, uh, I like that. He proved it every Sunday. Oh, yeah! <laughs> you know, Me! shocked everybody, I think, how fast he was. And then you pack onto that 225 pounds and mean, tough runner. In nine record-setting seasons, Jim Brown led the league in rushing eight times. Brown was a three-time MVP. Did you guys just hear that? Did you just hear that? Or did that go completely over your head? Because it didn't go over mine. Jim Brown, in eight of his nine seasons, led the league in rushing. That is a dominant motherfucking player. He is the only runner ever to average over 100 yards per game and over five yards per carry for a career. Well, we're gonna have to check that. Sorry, mate. First stop of the video. We're checking the NFL highest 
average rushing yards per game. Jim Brown. Let's have a look. Oh my God, Ezekiel Elliott's up there. 101.7 yards per game. But he's only played two seasons. Can he keep it up? Can he? Barry Sanders, 99.8. You'd be gutted. You'd be gutted, mate. Wow, look at that. Okay, out of the top seven, five have retired, and all five are in the Hall of Fame. Ezekiel Elliott is there at 101.7. Adrian Peterson, he's going to retire soon, but he shouldn't, because I know he's still got a few years left. He is at 90.6 yards per game. Le'Veon Bell is current, 86.1. How many more Hall of Famers have we got? Curtis Martin, OJ Simpson, Earl Campbell, Emmett Smith, Ladanian Tomlinson, Tony Dorsett, Jerome Bettis. Man. What have we got? Marshall and Lynch. He's there. Where's Marshall and Lynch? 70.1. Still playing. Man, I, I love looking at stats like this. I really do. I fucking love it. Greatest running back of all time, Jim Brown. That so-called macho, which I, I hate that word, but he, he embodies it. I've played nine seasons, I never missed a game. I'll never forget that picture right there. That, well, not that one, this one. With the face mask, the, the orange helmet, you know, the, the crowd in the background. I, I'll never forget it. It's iconic. Absolutely iconic. I played nine seasons, I never missed a game, and I never laid out on a football field. I might not have the greatest ability of everybody, but the one thing that stands is that when it was time to play, I was there. How did he get over? How did he get over just then? Is that when it was time to play... Stiff arm. Okay, that's one. Get out of the way, ref. I would... He tries to pull him down. This guy, this guy's coming in with the shoulder right here. He's coming in with a big left shoulder. Was there. Misses him. Jim Brown stays on his feet. This fella's still got his legs. He's still on his feet. This guy comes along. Completely, nah, you're gone. You got no, no strength. Jim Brown's still on his feet. This last defender comes along. Actually does take him down slightly, but, but doesn't. Let's him go. Jim Brown dives over the line. And that's how it happened. NFL's all-time leading rusher and touchdown king when he retired. With an NFL championship and nothing more to accomplish. Oh, see I like these coloured videos, especially that one just then, because you can actually see how fast he was running. Way when he was just 29. Yeah, that's insane. Let's listen to that again. Brown walked away when he was just 29. 29 years old he left the game, and he's still the second greatest player in history. When I quit, uh, I was happy. I had nine good years. I did all the things I wanted to do. I went into movies. I started talking to pretty girls. Well, I've never looked back. That gives me goosebumps, man. That is so epic that he can say that. Because it happened. It did. He felt good about it. He left. He had a fuck. Fuck, he had an amazing second life after football. And uh, he got out of it with no injuries. Man, he's still got the rushing, the leading rushing yards per game record. And you know what? If he had have played probably three or four more seasons, you know, done what most running backs do, most players, they come to the end of their careers, the last three or four years, they sort of decline. You know, his average rushing yards per game would have gone down. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. If he had played five more seasons, it would have been under 100. And he wouldn't have the record still. So you know what? You did the right thing, Jim. You did the right thing. And Reynolds first met when they were co-stars in the 1969 Western 100 Rifles. There was a scene where we had to fight each other. So I fought him on a cliff about 75 feet down to the first rock. And then he got me dangling there. He said, you know, I'm really getting kind of sick of this heights. 
I said, really? Well, screw you. If we fall, it's going to say Jim Brown, an unknown actor, die. For me, a lot of people want to talk about other actors. Nobody wants to talk to Jim Brown about other football players. They want to talk about Jim Brown. I think even people that never even saw him play, you say Jim Brown and... Can you hear the music in the background, guys? It's affecting me in some kind of way. So soft, piano music, it's fucking awesome. Even so Combine that with football, that's what that's the angle they're trying to go with here. You say Jim Brown and they sort of uh, whisper. Did you see him? Did you know him? He was everything I hoped he would be. And a hell of a lot more. Jim Brown. Wow. You know what? I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there. I don't even want to try and ruin it. I don't want to try and analyze anything. I don't want to give you guys my opinions because I've already given them to you. Jim Brown, what an absolute fucking legend. And that's going to do it for today. So if you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe and you haven't yet, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one for the top player in NFL history. Number one, Jerry Rice. I'll see you then.